Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will cover simple discount nodes. The topics we will discuss are to find the basic terms used with simple discount nodes, find the bank discount and proceeds, find the face value, find the effective interest rate. Now let's take a look at the definitions of bank proceeds, discount, and face value. Bank discount equals face value times discount rate times time, or B is equal to MDT. The proceeds is face value minus bank discount, or P equals M minus B. The face value equals proceeds plus bank discount, or M equals P plus B. In each case, B is bank discount, D is the discount rate, P is the proceeds, M is the maturity value or the face value, and T is always time in years. Now let's look at an exercise in which we find bank discount and proceeds. In this exercise we have a note whose face value is $1,250, the discount rate is 11%, and the time is 150 days. So let's find the discount. The discount, of course, is always equal to B is equal to M times D times T. So the bank discount will be the face value, $1,250, times the discount rate, which is 11%, times the time, which is 150 days out of 360 days, which is $57.29. That's the discount. And of course, the proceeds is always equal to M minus B, which is the face value, $1,250. Subtract the bank discount, $57.29, which we get $1,192.71, which is the amount the borrower actually receives from this note. Now we're going to do an exercise in which we find the face value. Face value is always equal to M equals to P over 1 minus DT. So let's look at this problem. Roy Gerard needs $7,260 to pay for a new roof on his house. His bank loans him money at a discount rate of 12%, and the loan is for 240 days. Find the face value of the loan so he will have $7,260. So, the face value will be $7,260 divided by 1 minus the rate times the time, 240 days over 360 days, which gives us a value of $7,891.70. So the face value of the loan will be $7,891.30 so that he can receive $7,260 when he takes out the loan. Now let's define the effective rate and let's do an exercise in which we calculate the effective rate. The effective rate is the interest rate calculated based on the actual amount received by the borrower. And the effective rate is rate equals to interest divided by principal times time. Now let's calculate the effective rate. A Japanese electric company requires proceeds of $720,000 in local currency and borrows from a bank in Thailand at 12% discount for 45 days. Find the face value of the note and the effective interest rate. The face value of the note M will be $720,000 divided by 1 minus 12% times 45 over 360, which gives us a face value of $730,964.47. So the interest will be the difference between the face value and the proceeds, 
So the interest will be $10,964.47. Now let's find the effective interest rate. So the rate will be $10,964.47 divided by 720,000 times 45 over 360, which will be 0.122 or 12.2%. So the effective rate of the loan will be 12.2%. The discount rate is 12%. The effective interest rate is 12.2%. In this section, we discuss simple discount notes. We found bank proceeds, face value, discount, and effective interest rate. You will probably have some bank notes someday. So why don't you go and work some problems now and find out about notes?